My name is Brian McCaffrey. I'm a regist registered Democrat in the city of Philadelphia. Today, I'm at the Philadelphia Convention Center, and I am overseeing the ballot counters. I will let you know the corruption that is going on here. They will not allow us within 30 to 100 feet to supervise the ballots being counted. This is a coup against the President of the United States of America, and I want to call out the Mayor of Philadelphia, James Kenney, the Attorney General, Josh Shapiro, who tweeted that there's no way Donald Trump can win President of the United States of America, and also the District Attorney of Philadelphia, Larry Krasner. I can't believe what I'm seeing right before my eyes. This has nothing to do with Joe Biden or Donald Trump. This has to do with our democracy, and I will tell you, there is corruption at the highest level in the city of Philadelphia. To look at this. It's really bizarre. Go. We're in a situation where we have put together, and you guys did, did it for our administration, the President Obama's administration before this. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. So we put together the most extensive voter fraud organization in history. Now that's an incredibly stupid thing to say. The election uh, is November 3rd, and it's been said that we won't know the results until days later. W when do you think we'll know the results? All right, Jimmy, you raise an important point, and I hope the American people understand it, because this is something I worry about. My view is every vote must be counted. For reasons which I don't have the time to get into tonight, you're going to have a situation, I suspect, in states like Pennsylvania, um, Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, other states, where they are going to be receiving huge amounts of mail-in ballots. And unlike states like Florida or Vermont, they're not being able, for bad reasons, to begin processing those ballots until, I don't know, election day, or maybe when the polls close. That means you're gonna have states dealing with perhaps millions of mail-in ballots. Here is my worry. What polls show and what studies have shown is that for whatever reason, Democrats are more likely to use mail-in ballots. Republicans are more likely to walk into polling booths on election day. It is likely that the first votes that will be counted will be those people who came in on election day, which will be Republican. And here is the fear, and I hope everybody hears that. It could well be, and, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen, nobody does, but it could well be that at 10 o'clock on election night, Trump is winning in Michigan, he's winning in Pennsylvania, he's winning in Wisconsin, and he gets on the television and he says, thank you Americans for reelecting me, it's all over, have a good day. But then the next day and the day following, all of those mail-in ballots start getting counted and it turns out that Biden has won those states. At which point Trump says, see, I told you the whole thing was fraudulent. I told you those mail-in ballots were crooked. And I got, you know, we're not going to leave office. So that is a worry that I and, and a lot of people have. So the results, you know, we don't know what's happened. Maybe sure. the results will be on election day. But uh, people should be aware.